With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hello students, in this question they have asked to draw the most stable conformation of 1,2 dimethyl cyclohexane and cyclohexane 1,3 diol. Okay, so uh, before that we should know our cyclohexane is primarily in this structure but the most stable but the most stable form is chair form and we draw it like this okay and in chair form we always have exhale and equatorial positions i'm gonna draw exhale with green exhale exhale this exhale this exhale and this one and this one and with red i'm gonna draw equatorials so these are the equatorials and axial positions and we also uh, we always say is that the heavier group heavier group heavier group they always tend to occupy the equatorial side okay so uh, equatorial side so now we have to uh, tell the more st more stable conformer of 1 3 dimethyl 1 2 dimethyl cyclohexane so uh, what is the possibility we, we can draw it like this is our this is our cyclohexane okay so we can draw it like exhale exhale ch3 ch3 these both uh, these both are exhale and this is also exhale okay so uh, with ring flip you know the axial becomes axial become equatorial and equatorials becomes axial during ring flip this is ring flipping happening ring flip okay what will happen in ring flip is this uh, axial becomes equatorial and this one becomes here okay so now before it was before it was axial axial and now it is equatorial equatorial as explained the heavier groups always tend to uh, tend to uh, occur at equatorial phase so these both are now in equatorial and equatorial considerably most stable most stable state okay now uh, if in the case of uh, in the case of axial axial in axial we have energy barriers energy barrier of for one uh, one ch3 group we have 1.70 kilocalorie per mole okay and for two we would have 3.40 kilocalorie per mole so you can see in the case of in the case of equatorial equatorial there is no energy gap energy barrier okay in this case no energy barrier energy barrier but here we have energy barrier of 3.40 kilocalorie okay therefore our uh, equatorial equatorial is more stable now coming to the second part a uh, second part is cyclohexane cyclohexane 1 3 diode okay 1 3 diode cyclohexane we can draw it like 1 3 we have to draw we can simply draw it over here 1 OH and 1, 2, or 3. Okay. Another one comes out to be here. I'm drawing its edge over here. Okay. So you can see over here uh, oxygen and hydrogen, they tend to form hydrogen bonding whenever possible. So there they have chance to form hydrogen bonding. And therefore, due to hydrogen bonding, this structure, exhale, exhale. These both are exhale, exhale, right? So this axial axial is again not stable because of hydrogen bonding. But when we keep them on equatorial equatorial, we keep them on equatorial how? This side, this equatorial and this one equatorial. It is again 1, 3 only. See 1, 2 and 3. Okay, 1, 3 equatorial equatorial. No hydrogen bonding. Therefore, more stable most stable structure so in the both cases we have equatorial 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 here and equatorial equatorial over here most stable form okay 
So this was the solution, guys. Thank you. For class six to twelve, ITG and NEET level, trusted by more than five crore students. Download Doubt and App today.